You have the right index in place, yet index seek is not happening. Let's look at one such example. In AdventureWorks 2016, there is a table person dot person. Let's fire a simple query where you are filtering on first name. Let's go and execute. You will see that the query is highly selective. You're just returning six records out of probably 20,000 records. When you jump into the execution plan, to your surprise, you will see the optimizer decides to scan instead of seeking. When we take the cursor over the index scan operator by looking at the object name here, so the index object says it is ix person last name, first name and middle name looks like the index object is created using these three columns in this specific order, last name, first name and middle name. If we go to the object explorer and try to script out the index, it confirms yes indeed the index is created on these three columns. Now here is the deal. You cannot seek on first name if you're not seeking on last name. That's the rule of the optimizer. Now remember when you create indexes on multiple columns, traversing or searching will happen from left to right. So in order for you to seek on a specific column, you have to seek also on all the columns prior to that specific column. So remember that. So what can you do? You can probably go ahead and fix the query maybe and include those additional columns. Order is not important, but you got to have those columns. So let's say if I just included uh, last name also here, and if we select this and execute, you get the data. If you go into the execution plan, you can see index seek is indeed happening. Or maybe you can go and modify the index itself by changing the order of columns. But remember, those decisions are not easy to make because there might be other queries that are dependent on this specific index. But then now you know what's going on inside the optimizer and then you can take corrective actions. Hope you liked the video and whichever platform you're watching this on, do subscribe and share and retweet for your friends and colleagues. You can visit sqlmaestros.com or sqlservergeeks.com for more such content and follow me on Twitter, A underscore Bansal. Thanks for watching this video. See you soon.